Hi, how are you doing? It's good to be with you around harvest time. I do hope you're okay. So, this school year might still feel quite new. How does it feel to be growing up? Do you like the way that you can do more things as you get older? Because growing up is just one of the great things about God's creation. What are your favourite things about God's creation? What are your top three? Maybe if you've got time, why not pause the video right at the beginning of this assembly and have a think. You could write or draw your favourite things about God's creation. And why not have a think also about what do these favourite things tell us about what God is like? Why don't you do that now? See you in a bit. Now, we've got a story soon and we're going to need some actions for it. So let's have a go now at these actions. Before each action, I'll tell you what it is. I'll say one, two, three, go. But then if you can stop the action when I start speaking again, that would be great. Here we go. So first of all, we need you to act something that gives light. Maybe you could be a candle with a wobbly flame on top, or you could shine a torch around you. Or you could be a lighthouse turning round. Have a think. Something that gives light. One, two, three, go. Okay, I don't know what you came up with, but fantastic. Then we need you to act out something to do with water. Maybe swimming. Or maybe washing your hair. Or maybe drinking some water. Have a think. One, two, three, go. Then we will need you to be a plant or a tree. So have a think which one you'll be. One, two, three, go. Brilliant. We need you to be the sun or the moon or stars. Here we go. Which one are you going to be? Sun, moon or stars? One, two, three, go. Next, we need you to be a fish or a bird. Which are you going to be? Ready? One, two, three, go. Next, there aren't many more. Next, we need you to be any animal you like. One, two, three, go. Lastly, we need you to act out resting. Here we go but don't fall asleep. One, two, three, go. Are you done? Fantastic. So we'll need those actions soon. I will need a volunteer for this story a bit later to come to the front and they will need to be able to say stuff and I'll give you the words to say at the time. So why not pick who that will be right now, but stay in your seat until I invite you to the front, okay? Got someone? Great. Now we do want one more thing. We need some very quiet owl sounds. Ready? Really quiet. One, two, three, go. Wonderful. That's enough. So let's have a big round of applause and welcome to the front our volunteer. Hi, how are you doing? For the next few moments, you are going to be God. Happy? So what I need you to do is say some words after me. Great, shall we have a practice? Here we go, ready? Let there be light. Wonderful, brilliant. And again, here we go. Let there be light. Wonderful. So, everybody, we need your actions right now. Do you remember what you did? Ready, people? Ready, God? We're all set. So, this is the very first story you find in the Bible. This is Genesis chapter 1. Here we go. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty and dark, but God's spirit was hovering over the waters. 
And God said, ready for your first line, God? And God said, let there be light. And there was light. That was so good. Let's do that again. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Let's see your actions for light. One, two, three, go. God saw that the light was good. God said, this is good. God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. Night time. Let's hear our owl sounds. One, two, three, go. There was night time and there was morning and that was the first day. Ready for your second line, God? And God said, let's separate the waters. Let's see your water actions. Ready? One, two, three, go. God separated the waters above and below and called the one above sky. And there was evening and there was morning. That was the second day. And God said, let the dry ground appear. Let the dry ground appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. He said, this is good. Then God said, ready? Let the land produce plants and trees. Let's see those plants and trees. One, two, three, go. And God saw that this was good. God said, this is good. And there was evening and there was morning. The third day. And God said, let's have day and night. Let's see the sun, moon or stars. One, two, three, go. And guess what? God saw that this was good. He said again, this is good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day and then God said let's have life in the water and the air let's see those fish or birds one two three go so God created sea creatures and birds and God saw that it was good. He said, this is good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, ready? Let the land produce life. So God made the animals. So let's see those animals. One, two, three, go. And God saw that it was good. Guess what? He said, this is good. Then God said, let's make humans in my image. And he did so. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. He said, this is very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. So it was all finished. So God rested from all his work 
Now this includes you, God. So let's see all your resting actions. Ready? One, two, three, go. God blessed the seventh day. He made it a day off. He said, I make this a holy day. Because on that day, God rested from all his work, all the work he had done in creating the world. Let's have a round of applause for God. Thank you, you can sit again, sit down again now. That's, that's great. In fact, everybody, give yourselves a round of applause too. So, what are your favorite things about God's creation? What would you like to thank God for this harvest time? Why not come up with your own alphabet full of thank you prayers, simply saying, thank you God for, and then listing an, an alphabet full of stuff, an item per letter of the alphabet. See what you come up with. In the meantime, bless you lots. Thank you so much for taking part. Remember, I believe God has got great plans for you and he loves you completely. You're awesome. Happy harvest. See you again soon.